-hmm. We are driving to the Red Gorge. I was told to be careful of snakes here, and I'm a little paranoid. I'm stuck because of the mud. I've been going uphill for like 30, 40 minutes, and I think I need to get up there where there's a rock. I'm tired. I'm so hot. Good morning, everyone. I got ready. Uh, I packed my stuff. Well, it was already packed, but I finished cleaning my stuff yesterday. Went to bed. It was like 10.30. Woke up at like 9.30. Well, I woke up a few times, but then I was like, no, no, no. Stay in bed. So I did. And so and now my car's a mess again. <laughs> I decided to do like a little hike before leaving. I'm going to talk from down here because I'm like oop, feeling really awkward. It's like a two kilometer walk, so like one point something miles. It's really not long, so it's going to be perfect. And then we're going towards West, West Virginia, I think. Take me home. Country roads. Okay, so it is the Hidden Arch Trail. I just went up a small hill and I'm already out of breath. Bless me. We're halfway done and we have a small viewpoint. You can't see much because of the trees, but it's so pretty. <sighs> Look at next. Okay, another flight of sketchy jungle stairs. Love that for me. Warning, if ever you do this one, there's a loose stair, like higher up. The first flight of stairs you get, there's a loose floor. And now we are going up the stairs. <sighs> My panda asthma is about to kick in. <sighs> Ready. I can do this. We've made it halfway. I like how this trail is supposed to take like 30 minutes. Of, uh, ah! Something touched my head. <sighs> and I was in a spider web. <laughs> Uh, disgusting, disgusting, ew. It's supposed to be like a 30 minute walk and they say 30 minutes. Anyways, I've been walking for 41 minutes, 42 minutes, but I stopped and like taking pictures and videos and I've just been running around with Ace. Hike is done, um, Ace is dying in the back. AC is at its strongest. Oh, this man just peeing in front of his car, that's okay. I saw this place 12 minutes away, it's called Miguel's Pizza. It looks really good and I can get like two slices. And I just hiked a lot, so I'm like, why not? I could eat pizza. Mm -mm -mm. I'm having a huge debate with myself because I went to the pizza place, but then when I got there, I got scared. <laughs> Classic me. Uh, so I drove off. And then I saw that I could order online, but I'm still debating on ordering it because I still need to go inside to get it. Like I looked at the door and it seemed so far away, and I was like, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <sighs> I can do this. Okay, you got this. So I'd order like a pizza with Alfredo sauce, mozzarella cheese, avocado, and bacon. That sounds good, right? Okay, so I am back at the rest area just because I'm a little bitch, but I did get the pizza. <gasps> Yum! Fuck yeah, I'm eating it all. Those are huge. Like, there's three slices. Mm avocado and bacon oh my god this is gonna be so good but i'm back at the rest area to eat this in the scorching sun because there were people at the tables over there in the shade there was space but i was too scared enough anxiety for one day okay i'm going i don't care if i'm hot as long as like i'm away from people it's gonna be good oh my god i'm so annoyed i got to the place no pets in the picnic area it's fine, I'll just eat in my fucking car. The guy just turn around as soon as I can bite. Mmm. 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 
Oh, that is so good. I was so hungry. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this pizza, okay? I can't enjoy it while people are watching me eat. So I parked a further away and I'm gonna eat here at the back of my car. It's really fucking hot outside, but I don't care. I'm gonna enjoy the weather while I can. This probably hates me. I'm sitting on a pillow. It's here on my Bon appétit. Huge change of plans. So, I just received the tax return from the government and a lot of money came in, which pisses me off that it's now and not when I went to Texas because with the money I have now, I could have easily made it to California and back, but shit happens. So, I was like, I really want a beach right now and especially since it's 32 degrees, I can't hike. I just want to go to the beach. There's no beaches around here that are like, wow. So I've decided I'm gonna drive south, as in uh, South Carolina. Uh, I was hesitant between Georgia and South Carolina, but I'm going to South Carolina. They're very dog friendly apparently, so I'm gonna drive there. Over there, I'm gonna probably stay like three days in South Carolina, just chill, enjoy the beach. So I'm gonna call one of my dad's friends. She lives in Florida, but she might have friends or people she knows and she always she often travels in, in that area apparently so I'm gonna check it out really huge change of plans I was like going to chill here for a bit and then I was like I want to go to surf town in South Carolina I was looking at the other banks because I've already been and I really enjoyed it when I was younger but the weather over there it's shit right now it's cold and well, cold it's Canadian hot cold American okay I do want to turn from like vampire white to like milk white that's my goal i'm a nine hour eight minute drive away from south carolina i just found some beach place there that was dog friendly so that's where i'm heading i'm gonna call my dad's friends right now to see if uh, i need to change my plans but right now we're going to south carolina oh my god this is so exciting oh my god i want to go to the beach so bad ah! okay so it turns out i'm going to florida it's a 14 hour drive well i don't know 100 percent I just talked to my dad's friend and she just told me uh, why don't you come over to my place and I was like oh fuck okay I'll do it and so I'm driving to fucking Florida that's kind of fun oh my god okay this is exciting oh this is so random this trip is a mess okay so I put some gas in uh, I brought Ace to pee one last time I gave him water he didn't want to drink so it's like the GM I just put the address in it added me an hour so now we're back to 13 hours and not 12 anymore kind of depressing but it's okay yeah we're still driving we're still thriving we're still in the mood i'm listening to some chris stapleton mixed with some dominic Pike. we're going on the weird but it's good i'm in tennessee i didn't even realize i was passing through tennessee is gorgeous the mountains like i'm driving up high in the mountains it's absolutely stunning wow We are currently stuck in 40 plus minute traffic. Life is going great. I thought we were clear from it because we started driving pretty fast and then all of a sudden it was like BAM and I was like ah! And so yeah. Mm. This pizza is so good. Okay, so I'm parked at the loves in a little sketchy area. It's fine. Leave what I want to get up early um to hopefully hike in tennessee because apparently there's gorgeous hikes out here and it would be a shame to come to tennessee and not hike oh my god i'm so hungry right now like it just hit me okay i saw it all because i'm beside a mcdonald's and i can smell the fries from my car i'm gonna eat this carrot and cry it's the last time you're gonna see me uh, for the night you can't really see me maybe like this okay a little bit anyways i should go to bed because it's past my bedtime <laughs> good night everyone you still can't see me but i'm not gonna put a light because i don't want to wake up too much i've been like awake for a little while and i thought it was like being a bit bright outside but i just found out it's just a light um, 
I was like, oh, it might be getting a bit bright outside. I was like, I'm ready to go. We're gonna choose a hike. Let's go. And then I was like, what time is it? So I look and it's only 1.25 a.m. <laughs> yeah, enough you.